Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure a virtual machine to boot from a CD image, that is, an ISO image file. Recall, in a previous video, I demonstrated how to create a virtual machine capable of running the Ubuntu operating system. And I have it open before me here. This is a Ubuntu virtual machine, i.e. it is a virtualization of a physical computer i.e. a virtualization of all the physical components, that is, the motherboard, the um, memory, the keyboard, network card, graphics card, and so on, and indeed the storage devices, the hard disks. But recall that the hard disk is actually empty, which is precisely why in this video I wish to demonstrate how to boot from a CD ISO image, so that we can, in a subsequent video, install the Ubuntu operating system onto this virtual computer. So, let's begin. The CD image that I wish to place inside the virtual CD-ROM of the virtual computer is the latest Ubuntu 18.04 long-term support edition. It's the latest as at the time of making this video. So I've downloaded the desktop image, the 64-bit PC AMD 64 desktop image. So it's already on my hard drive in my folder C colon backslash temp. So excellent. So I simply now make sure that I've selected the Ubuntu virtual machine inside the Oracle VirtualBox Manager, ensure that it is powered off, and then select Settings, and then select Storage on the left-hand side. Now, with immediately to the right of the controller IDE, there should be a circular disk with a plus symbol on it. So we select this, we don't select the square one, we select the circular image CD with a plus symbol, i.e. the tooltip displays add optical drive. So I left click that to select. We're informed you're about to add a new optical drive to the controller IDE. Yes, uh, would you like to choose a virtual optical disk to put in the drive or leave it empty? I wish to choose a disk, so click choose disk. I then navigate to this where I have downloaded the CD image that I wish to insert into the virtual CD-ROM, I select it and choose Open. And as you can see now, it is actually inserted inside the virtual CD-ROM. I click OK, and there it is. Um, and that's it. So what are the consequences of our actions? Well, as you can see here, the IDE Primary Master Optical Drive has the Ubuntu desktop image, the virtual CD inside the virtual CD-ROM. Consequently, when we attempt to boot this virtual machine, it will attempt to boot from this virtual CD-ROM and install the Ubuntu operating system immediately upon start off, upon booting. That I will demonstrate in a subsequent video. Thank you very much. Thank you.